Hey friends, welcome out to Soilborn Farms. You have been learning a little bit about insects. You might have gone on an insect scavenger hunt. Well, we are gonna talk more about insects and the body parts they have and what those body parts do. Remember, they have three main body parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. They have six legs. They have big compound eyes, antenna, and wings. And we're gonna go through each of those body parts and talk a little bit about them. In order to do that, we are going to turn our friend Lacey into an insect. Come on out here, Lacey. We're gonna turn Lacey into an insect, starting with the three main body parts. The first one is called the abdomen. Ta-da! Look at that green abdomen, how cool. So the abdomen in an insect is kind of like our abs. You can reach down and feel your abs. It protects all of the organs inside an insect. That's where the insects have their heart and where they have all their intestinal tract. The abdomen is usually the biggest body part of an insect. All right, let's now talk about our next body part and that is called the thorax. Whoa! What are those? Those are legs. Insects have six legs. That is so cool. On their thor, these six legs are always attached to their thorax. There's another body part that some insects have that's also attached to the thorax and that's wings. Insects can have no wings, they can have two wings like Lacey here, or they can have four wings. And I think you know what those wings help them do. Helps them fly around, get to different flowers and different places. Let's move on to our last main body part. That is the head. Luckily, Lacey has a beautiful head already. And just like in humans, insect heads have their brains inside, but they have a couple other really cool things that are different than humans. One of those is that they have antenna on top. Check out those antenna. Antenna are like hands for an insect. They help them feel around their surroundings and know what they have around them. It's an extra sense, which is pretty cool. Another thing that's attached to an insect's head are their eyes. Unlike human eyes, insects have compound eyes. That's like having a bunch of eyes all next to each other in one eyeball. And what these compound eyes do is they help the insects see more of what's around them. Humans can pretty much only see what's straight in front of them. But with these compound eyes, insects can see more above them, to the sides of them. They also help them see things that are moving by them and see things that are moving really fast. The last thing that all insects have in common is something called an exoskeleton. Check out that shiny armor. Insects don't have bones on the inside of their body like humans do. Their bones are on the outside and they have a different name, which is exoskeleton. These exoskeletons protect the insects just like a coat of armor would protect a person. Some insects have other special body parts that help them do specific functions that are just meant for them. But these are the main body parts that all insects have and when you're trying to decide if a bug is an insect or not check for all these body parts and that's how you'll know testing testing one two three okay one. let's review the insect parts with a song one two three head thorax abdomen and six legs Head, thorax, abdomen, and six legs. Compound eyes, 